Day three, we're ready to hit it. Uh-huh. But first, little checklist, soda. Yes, I got that. All right. Backpack. <laughs> Awnings. Yes. All right. We're good to Excellent. go. Excellent. We're good to go. Let's go. Yes. Shoot. Oh. What? Had to get the keys. Oh, all right. Let's head into the show. Okay. Ooh. Stickers. Can I put this on our Jeep? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, party pooper. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. We're in. Here we go. Welcome. I'm David. I'm Sandra. Big Truck Big Travels. Uh, welcome to the channel and this is day three of the Tampa show. Yes. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, a lot of times people do uh, tours and such and we did that yesterday a little bit with some extremes. But today we're going to check out some unique features. Right. I mean we already own an RV and if you guys own an RV and you're thinking, well, why do I need to go to an RV show? Because I'm not going to buy an RV. Um, this is actually a great place to go to get ideas. We like to go into all the different kinds of campers just to get ideas, especially organizational ideas, which is so important in this lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, every year the manufacturers are coming out with new ideas and new gadgets and new ways of building uh, their units. And we like to get those ideas and see if we can incorporate them in our lifestyle. Yeah, so so why don't you uh, come along and join us and we'll see what uh, this day brings us. So not really extreme technology, but the RV industry recognizes limitations. So achieving tighter turns, tight turn technology. That's really cool. However, I don't <gasps> think oh, no. it's tight enough. No. It needs to be a little tighter. Oh my goodness. Wow. Stop pushing buttons. Oh, I've got to. Wow. Oh, that's pretty wild. Okay, that's pretty wild. That's what is that thing? Wild. Is that like the can't leak? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wonder if they have problems with their can't leak. <laughs> oh, that's pretty neat. So they all have little buttons. Yeah. So they're So what's the next button? They're electronic. Oh, so you don't break a nail. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> I found something super duper cool in this $800,000 motor home. It might almost be worth getting it. Yeah, I would hope it'd be super cool for 800 grand. So what is a a Bujo journaling drawer, secret oh, drawer. Oh man! Like you can hide your washi. Oh shoot, no. That'd be worth like two million dollars. <laughs> no, let's let's go take a look. All right. Oh wow. Yeah, an, an island. island. Can you believe that in a motorhome? That's uh, that is cool. Yeah. So I talked to the sales guys, and um, they I asked them, "Is this brand new?" And they said, "Yes." Uh, islands and motorhomes are brand new. Yeah. So, okay, question for you. Uh oh. So. We're in public. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like Montana is going with the split where, you know, you've got the storage in the front, storage in the back. Uh -huh. So my question is which would you rather have? The 30 inches of storage down below, and this is the rear. Or 
up above where you're going to have more living space area. Oh, gee, hmm, let's see, right here. Really? Oh, yeah. More tools. Oh, my goodness. Get like a little, you know, golf cart or a little ATV thing. More tools. So oh, you'd yeah. be willing to give up your 65-inch TV for that? Yeah, I don't watch it much anymore. That's true. <laughs> So why are we sitting here besides to rest our feet? <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of nice. Watch the news yes. by the fireplace. Because this is a unique feature and, and cool that something that's new that's come out this year. Come on, let me show you. Walk through the wall. A bujo room. <laughs> a scrapbooking. Oh my gosh, I could sew, I could scrapbook, I can look out the window. I could do my videos. You could. We, they need to do one in the front and one in the back bed. <laughs> and here you have the double patios, which is really nice. And I made the tummy Well, I saw a basket. <laughs> That's what caught your attention. That's what caught my attention. I'm a little basket case. But this is neat. This little um, hooky system right here. Yeah, the slats that you can uh, take the uh, hooks and put them on for baskets and hangers. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, I like that. I like that organization. So this one has, and we we saw this year. Oh no, you didn't break it, did you? I think it snaps into place for travel. I think it does too. Pull oh, you just out. turn the TV on. There we go. Pull it out and articulate it. Yep. Oh, that's nice. I like that articulating feature. So we saw this feature years and years ago. Really loved it. But for us, I still like having the TV against the wall so I can use that space for projects and things. Yeah, I do too. But it's a great. Oh, this use is, of space. and I think that's something that can easily be incorporated in an existing RV. Yeah, is that I, a touchscreen TV? And I actually, I think it is, because I'm doing something and it's... It's just your, your magnetic thing. personality, I think. <laughs> it moved! <laughs> okay, I've not seen this before. Can I demonstrate? Oh, please do. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I think that's why they're good quality. All right, we'll try the other one. Okay. Let's see if the other one works. Well, anyhow, we know what it's supposed to do. But that's neat. But anyhow, that's cool. That's really cool. So instead of having a drawer, you've oh, got... Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh. Okay, all right, all right. Did you figure it out? This is cool. <laughs> now that you figured it out. Now that I figured it out. So nothing to really, you know, get yeah. caught and stuff like that. And then you push it up and then you press the button and it's latched. It's a button. See? Yeah, but how do I get my nail in there? Oh, well, I don't have to worry about that. Well, okay. That is cool. That's cool. We also liked front living rooms. A friend of ours had one and said you have to go up and down the steps a lot. Oh, it does. But There's the a secret. It has to like. the no. 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 You want me to show you guys? Oh, yeah. I spent like 15 minutes on this thing. So it, it, uh, it pops up there, and this button here is you push it. Yeah. I tell you, more and more of these fifth wheels are going with the splits. Yeah, yeah. So this is the one we were just in, and front living room, and look at all the storage. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, that almost might be worth giving up those eight-foot ceilings that we have. Yeah, you know, and I tell you, though, um, they're doing that because it's easier to cool a smaller space. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of these RVs are going with elevated floors in the back. These guys have taken it one step further. They've got full basement, the length of yeah, the so RV. It's, it's a full flat floor. Inside, yes. And it's really nice storage inside. Yeah, 
take it, definitely taking advantage of all the space down below. Oh yeah. So what is this? Is this, this is a cool way to uh, bring a scooter along. So a little golf cart they sell here, the miniature versions. Oh, that's really mini. Folded down, they've got ramps. And it scoots into the storage underneath in that bag. So this is kind of an extreme. So uh, it it's just like the spacecraft, but it's smaller. <laughs> Smaller. I, I think this is a cool feature that uh, these guys have incorporated inside this, along with. Oh, and it slides right in. Yeah, and along with full all basement of the storage. Full basement on a regular fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. So even though it is all about storage, one thing that we've learned in this lifestyle is less is definitely more. Definitely. Unless it comes to scrapbooking stuff <laughs> <laughs> and stickers and washi. Yes. But you know something? Mm -hmm. You get all that storage, you still got to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So we're here by the camper vans and we're just looking around, again, looking for ideas. And I saw this floor plan and I have a question for you. I don't get something. So just a little background. Okay. David has an incredible vocabulary. I don't know where you got it from, but huh? between his vocabulary <laughs> and his spelling you know he's like he's like mr spell check yeah, that's true so okay david let me show you this and i got the question for yes. you yes so this says shower and it says stool how do you spell stool as in poop that's how you spell it s-t-o-o-l so you take a shower and so why they just call it shower and poop then <laughs> because stool is a little more refined elegant way of saying toilet <laughs> and these are on Mercedes Sprinter vans. Okay. So they want to be a little more European, have a little flair. Oh. Oh, nice. This is a nice outdoor kitchen. It's like a tra oops. It's like a transformer kitchen. It folds all up and fits right into the slide underneath. You remember when we had our passport and we'd set up the outside shower? Yeah. This is kind of the same thing. You just open up the door and. Yeah. And if you had a clear shower curtain, you'd really feel outside. You might shock the neighbors. <laughs> the master bedroom's in the back, so yep. this would be good for kids, but look at this. <laughs> what would you, you just... do with all this room? Oh my goodness, the sewing machine, the serger, and all my scrapbooking supplies and journaling supplies. You would just live up here. I would just live up here. This would be my crafting cave. But actually, look at all the storage it has. Oh, wow. I mean, it's huge. I can compartmentalize everything. I can get my label maker out, and I can label everything. And maybe instead of a bed, I can put another soda machine back here. <laughs> so you've got the trash can, the regular recycling, but nice. look at that. Oh. That's actually a good spot for it. It, it except, really is, except I have issues and the little, my germaphobe in me, the fumes might come up and infuse into the paper towels. Yeah. Plus, we don't use enough paper. This will last me a whole year. <laughs> We've got the curtains. Yeah, you don't see that much in an RV. No, I don't think I've ever seen that. And again, the nice uh, trim. You ready? That's a screen, and then you can close it. To a blackout shade. This is cool. Yeah. It's a pull-out drawer, so it's not real tall and deep, but man, it is huge, and you could put hoses, tools. Yeah, it's the little stuff that you lose. Yes. So what's so, that behind you? There's a, a compartment down there as well. And I'm not sure that's a... Oh. Is that an ice box? Yes, that's an ice box. All right, we found out what that little lip is for. Okay, and this is really hidden. But that is cool. Wow. This is actually kind of ingenious. This is the 50 oh. amp cord. Oh. It's flat. Wow. So you can easily reel it up. Oh my goodness. Into here and you can take less space. Yeah. And reel up more cord. Wow. Did you see these slides here? Yeah, you want to get a picture of it? Yeah. Yeah. You can. What? Oh my gosh, you're gonna get us in trouble again. 
Okay, you're gonna get us so in trouble. look at these slides. Of course, I'm not going in. I'm going to let you. Oh, my gosh. Did you <laughs> See, really I just... just... <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Jeez. I'll be on the lookout for you. Okay, so what I like about this slide is that there are lights underneath it, but it's also got the striping underneath the slide as well. Is that cool or what? You're looking at a $1.2 million light bar. But it's cool. It's cool. Okay, so this is the first time I've actually seen a TV in a shower. So you can watch, <laughs> you can watch your football while yeah, you're taking, while you're taking a taking shower. Man, some people would never get out of the tub. Day three in the books. You got in some how many steps? Not that many, I think. I think because with this show, we're being very targeted on what we want to go look at. It's um, my great route planning. <sighs> well, you need to do that so it won't spend so much of fuel. <laughs> hmm? So, yeah, it's uh, only 7,400 steps today. So that, that was a slow day. I think yesterday was about 12. So. Yeah. But well, we saw a lot of neat uh, items and innovations, mm -hmm. some uh, cool trailers and some coaches. Uh, Just the cool features. Yeah. That was Super cool. Yeah. I think we go home, we take a shower. Yep. And just chillax. Have dinner. And yeah. then hopefully this comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Which will be today when you guys see it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching. Hope you guys subscribed. Uh, you've got a couple more videos in mind that we're going to put together for you. Yep. So uh, please be sure to hit the subscribe and notification button. and. Yeah. Uh, Really appreciate you guys watching and yeah. thank you. And thanks for all the comments. We do, it just, it makes we our day. We appreciate it. Yeah. Heading complete. No, it's you this thing. Oh. You got to look at that. Oh my goodness, no. Why? Did it delete it? A cool little feature. Uh huh. Open that drawer. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, open that drawer. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> gotta, magical, right? You, know, you got to do it. So I have to use two it. hands to open that drawer. Yes, but it's cool. Uh, look at this yeah, nice uh, Bujo drawer. <laughs> you got to have a secret code. <laughs> you can't get in it. You can't use it. So we're here by all the little van. Things. <laughs> Let me start over. What are these things called? There, okay, it's done.